Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Tom Rouse. I am going to be talking today about the Wolves against Nottingham Forest match. Giving you a little bit of a preview, a bit of a taste of some stats and some facts around the game. And hopefully you enjoy it. So Wolves are on the back of a great run of form. They've won four games in a row. Depending on how far you look back at the form tables. If you go back six games we are second to Villa. But let's look at it from the last four games and we are top of the form table. Forest have only won one in six, but they have drawn three. So the table looks now, they are 20th in the table. They, In fact, if they lose against us on a Tuesday night and Blackburn win, then they could be in the relegation zone, which for a club like Nottingham Forest to be relegated down to League One again is almost unthinkable. Forest haven't won a game away from home since the 25th of November where they beat Barnsley 5-2. Now, often we have a tendency to end runs like that. But I think the way that we're playing at the moment, I'm fairly... Well, you can never be too confident with the Wolves, but I'm fairly confident that we'll be able to avoid defeat. We beat Forest, of course, in December 2-0. We got some Costa and Cavaliero, which came off the back of a terrible... It was the same fixtures as now. We had Cardiff and then Forest. We played really badly at Cardiff, played well away at Forest and had a good win there. Um, we had a, a good spell of games over Christmas and that's when we started thinking, oh, you know, playoffs could be a possibility this season, but those hopes soon faded. Forest, of course, lost their key player, their star player, Henry Lansbury, in the January transfer window to Aston Villa. They've also had a change of manager since we've last played them. They've now got Mark Warburton, who was at Rangers. He's only had two games in charge now and two draws, so it's been difficult to tell how he's impacted the team. But quite often when teams near the bottom have new managers, they have a bit of a bounce, so that's something that we need to be wary of tomorrow as well because they could spring a surprise on us. Because they need to win, you'd expect them to be pushing and chasing every ball and getting amongst it. But we've got to counteract that. We've got to make sure that we're up for the game. Don't just think that we've got to turn up and win because we've won four games in a row. You know, we need to earn that those three points again. Now, mathematically, Wolves can still make the playoffs. I did a bit of maths and we can get to 72 points, which is not usually enough to make the playoffs. You sort of need about 75 usually. But, I mean, that's with everybody else above us losing every single game, and I can't see that happening. But the way that we're playing at the moment and the results that we're getting, I said on Saturday that I could see us going on and winning every game this season the way that we're playing. So, I mean, realistically, I think we've just got to go and get as many points as we can. I think 60 points is a good target for us to try and get. That's 12 more points from the last eight games. You know, winning half of those games would be really good, positive way to end the season. And we can go then into the pre-season, into the summer, thinking about next season and about the positive things that could happen in the summer as well. One thing I'd like to say about the lineup for Tuesday is that it's very good now that we know who's playing. There's no discussion about we should be playing so-and-so there, he should be playing, he shouldn't be playing. We've got a settled lineup now, and that's what we've been waiting for all season. We've been waiting for... Players to cement their positions, players to play well in those positions and have a run in the team. There have obviously been injuries now, Carla Kimi may or may not be fit. But generally the core of the team have stayed the same and that's what happens with when you get consistency and good players playing well is that you get results. Danny Bart was in the EFL Team of the Week. So he's answered some of his critics that he's had recently, myself included. And one last stat to leave you on is that Wolves have not won five championship games in a row since November 2008. But if you think about it, we haven't actually been in the championship for that many seasons since then. So I'm going to make a quick prediction for the game. I reckon we are going to win 2-1. And now I've said that, we're probably going to lose if we can play with the same style that we did against Cardiff and the keeping the intensity up, getting the ball forward, Ben Marshall putting great balls into the box. Those players in interchanging well as well, Cavaliero, Costa, Vyman, all changing, all switching positions. Dave Edwards going into the box late. I think we've got a really good opportunity to get a fifth win in a row. And you'd have to think then if we won that game, that would ease a lot of fears. I know there's still games to play, but we've got a game in hand. We need to start looking up the table, have a little challenge amongst the ourselves now, try and maybe finish higher than the Villa, that would be a great end to the season. 
Thank you to everybody who's been watching the videos recently and to those new subscribers. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed it, then like the video and click subscribe. And I'll see you again for a review of the game on Tuesday night. If you like Wolves Talk as well, then make sure you come back to this channel on Wednesday for a little... I call them Wolves Wednesdays. This week I'll be talking about what Wolves need to do in the summer in order to mount a promotion challenge next season. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.